<laughs> now I can start staring this bad boy. I'm Wesley Altuna and I'm the chef and owner of Bawang. Bawang is a catering business that is focused on producing traditional Filipino food. <laughs> Let's go. So before Bawang, I was a I was in advertising. I was working in the digital space as a uh, senior project manager. I had a, a bunch of misfortunes at the beginning of the year. I lost my job. My dad passed away, and then of course COVID hit, and then the entire city went on lockdown. You know, I was trying to figure out. How am I going to pay for my place? How am I going to feed my child? How am I going to keep things afloat? I had to figure out a way to, you know, keep myself sane, really. Um, cooking has always been therapeutic for me. It's always been comfort for me. Basic seasoning here, salt, pepper. Filipino food was really my bread and butter. That's, that's the one thing that I learned to cook and I love to eat. You know, I would, I would cook so much food, but that, that I would end up with all these extras which eventually uh, ended up in containers and, and care packages that I would drop off to friends all over the city. After uh, putting together a meal for my friend and his family, uh, he came back with such positive feedback and, uh, and, and said, hey man, like, have you thought about doing something with this? Yeah, it's good. That same night, I went home and uh, put together a menu and I posted on my story and next thing you know, um, you know, I get like three or four orders uh, that came through and so I had to fill those orders the next day. That's, that's how Baung really started. Every week I'll, uh, I'll put together a menu, I'll post it on my, uh, my story. Typically I'll post it on a Saturday. Uh, they have until Tuesday midnight to place their order. So there's three dishes that's always on the menu uh, and it's because of popular demand. So we have ukoi, which is our shrimp and veg fritters, sweet chili wings, and our adobo. Today, we've been averaging over 100 meals a week. In the beginning, it was just me. I was doing everything from top to bottom, sourcing for uh, my ingredients, prepping, cooking, packaging, delivering. I still do that now. However, uh, depending on traffic, I do have uh, a couple of uh, people that come in and, and help me. Yeah, yeah. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. In the th four days that I'm working, I'm pulling in anywhere between 65 to 80 hours easily. It's hard work, but I love it. <laughs> It's kind of like you became a rock star. You know, you were learning to play an instrument and now you've got that down and you have an audience. And once you get that feeling that you're contributing yeah. to your community and, and that you yeah. have an audience and fans, you don't want to let the fans down, man. <laughs> no, no. I feel like with what I'm doing now, it just serves a lot. It serves a bigger purpose than just filling a void within myself. I mean, it, it did start with that but I think it naturally sort of translated into sharing my traditions and my culture and, you know, and sharing a little bit of, of what we have to offer as far as what comes out of our kitchen. And that's been received really, really well, um, surprisingly well, where, you know, growing up, I would hide, you know, my container of, you know, rice and corned beef or whatever it is that I would have for lunch because I was always ashamed of, of what I was bringing to the school. I would hide my no. sardine sandwich because <laughs> people be, you're like, smelling like a, a Sicilian old man. And I think that what you're doing is communicating with the world what we all need to remember. This is what America is. We are everyone. We are all corners and all flavors. Amen. And that's what we bring not only to our community, but then all those folks and their kids that then they will share it with their kids and they'll know the flavor of the world, not just yeah. their block. Yeah. The world's yeah. got to be a yeah. bigger place. You know, I, I have to say, we have to admit on our show that we came to you through Eater because we're all big eaters. <laughs> but we love your story. I so hope that we stay in touch. Uh, we really do think of you and the example that you set as one of inspiration for so many people out there that are struggling and trying to find themselves. So many folks have been in the same place you've been and not had the bravery, you know, that it takes to just literally suck it up and put your back straight and try something. Yeah. And you've yeah. done that and we wish you nothing but continued success and we hope that you stay part of our extended family.